Can't wait. It was like the first red carpet I ever did. It was like a little small thing, like day premiere. And someone was like, Sarah, what's the, um, like, what's the, what was the funniest thing that ever happened to you? Like some big prank. Like Disney's like obsessed with the idea of pranks. So it's like, that's one of their favorite questions. Like who's the biggest prankster on set and all that stuff. But then anyway, somebody asked me like about a prank. And I didn't have anything fun. I'm not like a zany person, mm. I would say. Um, I am pretty mellow, mm. at, nowadays at least. Um, but I felt the pressure to like come up with something really funny. So I was like, one time in high school, I started a food fight. <laughs> they were like, what? <laughs> and I, I really had to go down that road because I couldn't, I couldn't be like, Never mind, it was a joke. Like, I had, I was like, yeah, um, it really happened at, um, at my school. And then they were like, well, how? Like, what was that about? And I, like, I, I honestly kind of want to find this interview nowadays to see how that went. Um, Can we find it? Uh, please Whoa. don't. <laughs> it was like, it, I'm sure it was so bad. Because I was like, yeah, I mean, it didn't, we didn't mean for it to happen, but like, we had like an outdoor cafeteria and there was a thing and I accidentally threw, it was like the worst story because I'm sure it was really obvious I was lying about the whole thing. Because who nobody actually has food fights. It was, I was like, okay. And then like later on that same interview, like someone, or like, or carpet, someone was like, mm -hmm. what are you wearing? And I was like, forever 21. Uh, which was true, <laughs> but like, <laughs> they don't think they wanted to hear that. Oh, who gives, I don't care about that. Is it that was, not good? No, store? that was great. No, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, fast fashion. So nowadays I would tell you actually to steer clear and go for sustainable ethical options. But like oh, okay. back in the day, I was all about it. Um, um, but yeah, no, that was uh, that was like my first red carpet ever experience. That was my bad. Oh, my gosh. That I love cringe moments. Yep. Like I, I've got oh, a lot for you. Oh, <laughs> I adore real life moments like that. Mm -hmm. I live for that. <laughs> Because it's so real, and everybody in the room feels it, and it's so like... With the secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> low, everybody's like, oh, this is not normal society rules, what's going on? Oh, I have a bunch. If you you just give me a topic, I'm sure I can spit one out. Oh, if you think of anything off the top of your head, please let us know. Let me tell you about my first kiss. Oh, yes. Um. <laughs> that sounded so creepy. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, yeah, not like that. Okay. We'll yeah, cut yeah. that part out. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Redo the reaction. Um, no, I mean, like... It, it, Pretty much what happened is this. Like, it was my first date. I was, like, I was 20. I was 20 when I had my first date and my first kiss. Oh. And so, um, you know, it was it was good. It was really nice. Uh, but I knew by the end of it that I just wasn't interested in the person. But we were walking back to his car, and and then we stopped, and I was like, this is it. Like, he's going to he's gonna leave. I can tell. Like, you know, you can. it's an eye thing. It's an eyeball thing. You can tell by the eye contact. And I was like, it's going to happen. I was like, I don't really like him, but I, I kind of think it maybe it'd be just a good idea to get my first kiss done and over with. So he kissed me, and I didn't know what to do. I mean, it was fine. Like, the kiss was fine. But then afterwards, it was just, like, what I perceived to be awkward silence. So I just said, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. And then he was like, did you just say thank you? <laughs> and I was like... Yeah, what did you want me to say? All Good right. job. And then we went home. <laughs>